Hello, it's Tim with Tadai Farm. Today is Tuesday, January 7th, and we're going to continue on this drill today. And here's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on these monitors. So the first thing I got to do is get these all down. And I've done that, got this hooked up. We let that warm up for a little bit and uh, dropped them down. The reason we want to do that is these, let me get in there. These have got to go in here, something like that. And I need to make sure that with these down, I don't have a loop in them. So I've got to cut this off a little bit here and get that matched up in there. Uh, and then this hose has got to fit on there like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get those lined up and uh, get started on that. So bear with us here. All right, that's just held on by a cotter pin. So I pulled this one off so it's easier to work on than trying to reach down in here. But um, the way these work, I don't know if you can see down in there, there's a top and a bottom. The top kind of funnels down and the bottom doesn't, but you got a little glass eye in there and two LEDs on this side and that's what senses the seed falling through there. So we're just gonna try to get some measurements to see how this is gonna fit on there. And then, whoop, don't fall. And then we'll have to cut this to fit, make it all work. So that's what we're working on here. Well, I need to heat this up, just get it warmer, not hot, but just get it warmer so it's a little more pliable to stretch over that. And my salamander heater stopped working. And I got a broken hose. Oops, this end. So we gotta run pick that up. We'll be right back. Got it fixed, but I know you can't hear me, so. We got this side pretty much strapped up. I end up cutting about four or five inches off of this one here. Then use a little adapter piece here and then just slid the other C tube on there. It worked real good. Strapped across. Now I'm gonna come back here and in these spots here, I'm gonna put a little wire loom. So if this slides around, it doesn't rub that wire. I think we'll be all right there. But uh, yeah, just trying to make sure I actually got room to pull this this way a little bit. There. We'll put some wire loom on that right there. Make that loop there a little bigger. But yeah, just kind of dressing it up right now. You can hear me over the tractor. You can see how these are all pulled up now, up out of the way. And probably need to come back here and redress this so that this is over on this other side here. I don't know, we'll have to see how that works out. See how those are all falling on the other side of the like that one's hitting the wheel and I don't want that to spin. Well, I don't know what I can do with this one. We'll have to look at that one. We might have to do something because that might rub a hole in the bottom of that. Maybe we put a wire tie and hold that over. That might work because we don't want that rubbing and cutting a hole. So we just got through, through and check them all. We'll be back. Well, the lights were all busted on the old ones. So I picked up new lights. We talked about that before and tractor supply putting the stickers on these things. But anyway, got this side done. Yellow on the fronts and then they're uh, 
red for turn signal, yellow for hazard, and we'll have to get wire over here. But here's my ground. I got a good ground that comes over here. But anyway, we're working on that right now. This right here is a, a lighting module, and this wires on this side come from the tractor. This is the hydraulic hose, but and that's the monitor wire. But what this box does is it takes the yellow and the green, which are your flashers left and right, and it signals when the tractor's turning right. So when these lights are flashing on this side, both these lights will flash, and both these lights come on solid. Well, it does the same thing on the piece of equipment with just the four wires. With the yellow light flashing on the tractor, and same thing with the International, but when the yellow light's flashing over there, it'll flash the red light with it and make the red light come on and yellow light stay constant on here. And that's part of the code for the state of Ohio for agriculture equipment. Pretty much the same code all across the country, I believe. But that's what that module does. I got four of them a couple years ago for 100 bucks on Amazon. I don't know who I got them from, but they work real good. And then we got the wires going back. And that's what I had to stop the other day for and get some wire because I didn't have enough. So we're got to back to dress up yet. But I just wanted to stop and show you right now what we got with the monitors. Those are all done, tied up. Got to clean it up here a little bit. Well, we haven't been talking about much of what we've been doing today because Salamander Heater's been running and you can't hear me talk when that's going on. But we got the wire running to the back and it goes down underneath there coming to the back. And now we're just sticking the wire into this wire loom so it'll hold up nice and keep wires from not getting caught. So just forcing it down in there, no biggie. We'll show you how it's all put together here in a little bit. All right, I've showed this in some other videos. I twist those together, put some of this gunk on there. And it's a dielectric. So it's not supposed to corrode. And then slip that down on there, twist that down good and tight. As I'm going on like that, I'll turn it like that. Got the wire actually sticking out the end there a little bit and crimp. And that's how I do my grounds. I just want to make sure I got a good ground when I do these things. Nothing worse than not having a good ground and you're fighting, wondering what's wrong. Uh -oh, I dropped the, I dropped the washer. We'll be right back. I dropped that stupid washer three times. All right. Brown is brown for tail, and I only hook my tails up. On the bottom light I do not hook the tail up on the top light I want it to be a little brighter than the others and I use these heat shrink couplers and crimp them and my top flasher light I, I don't know. I do it this way. I put them both together. That gives me more flash. Yep. Let's try this again. It just gives me more flash. Uh, both bulbs are flashing. You don't have that dim light with the tail light. And I'm not outside much in the dark anyway. But in case I am, it just flashes a little darker brighter well i'll show you what this looks like when we're done but that's basically what i do and then i take a heat gun and shrink that down so we'll be right back now right, i got them shrinked it's kind of it might be hard to see but they shrink down around there and then i've showed this trick before where i double loop around now i'm just going to tuck all these wires kind of in here And 
and that double loop just helps protect the wires if I ever got to cut this wire tie off. But just do that, tuck them wires back in that corner. That way they're not getting pulled out anywhere. Clip the tail off, don't get no wires, and there you go. So that's what that looks like there. And uh, we got the lights and the monitors done, so hey, we're getting there. Uh, we'll uh, continue next time on something else. I'm not sure what we'll get into, but there's still a lot of stuff to do on here. We still got closing wheels, some bearings that got to be done. Um, oh, I forget what these are called. Anyway, I got those to do. And uh, that one bearing up front to do. And a couple of these bearings here got to be done. So that'll be next time. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.